Colorado Springs is definitely the most unique place we've ever lived and we've just grown to love it. I am Caitlin Oyer and I'm here um, in this passive house that's under construction um, that my family is in process of building here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We're on the uh, west side, um, pretty close to the mountains and close to Garden of the Gods. This will be the first uh, certified passive house in Colorado Springs. We just we're so excited, um, probably like five years ago when we first started geeking out over simple but just cool scientific passive house principle. We at that time were just flipping houses, old houses, and getting to see all of the terrible, um, <laughs> terrible building practices and terrible DIY fixes that people had done over the years. Eventually we wanted to build our own place, definitely wanted to build a passive house. Just happened upon this perfect lot that uh, had recently been cleared. We went with prefab because we decided we were going to do um, a, as much of this ourselves as possible. So this is AU Passive House in Colorado Springs here near uh, the Garden of the Gods. And this is a passive house that was built using prefabricated uh, panels. All these walls were built up in Invermore, Canada and uh, trucked down and craned, then sealed and connected on site. That includes the wall and the roof system. And often we can do floors as well. It also includes the airtightness and the insulation of the building, as well as the weather weatherization of the exteriors. So basically it's, it's, it's a little bit of two houses in one. None of the interior framing has been done yet, but there's a lower part that will be for a couple uh, with an upper bedroom and then a lower living space. And then the upper side will have the same uh, type of um, layout where there'll be a third story that has an office space and then the lower floor will be a living area. One house, but two separate families, two separate spaces. Costs are going up in housing in general as well as building and so pooling our resources was definitely um, key for us. My husband and I have been in Colorado six years and then my parents joined us three years ago and that enabled us to pool our resources, um, come together and kind of um, make something that would work for both our families. The week that these panels were delivered we were just unbelievably excited um, to see so much progress go super fast. The crane operator just lifted up wall by wall, set it into place. They had it all planned out ahead of time and knew exactly what went where, and it went in so fast and so easy. So you can, it feels like a mattress, like a nice firm mattress when it's what we call dense packed. This is cellulose insulation, and it's called cellulose because it's using shredded newspaper. In fact, you can see the little chunks of uh, paper, sometimes you can see the print in it. It's extremely um, affordable, and it's also um, almost nearly zero carbon. Performs extremely well as far as an insulation uh, for what we need for high performance buildings. Uh, so it's kind of the best of, best of all worlds. So um, we're, we're in a very dynamic um, environment here next to the Garden of the Gods with this epic view of um, Pikes Peak Mountain to the west. And one of the most difficult things for high performance homes is to have lots of glass to the west, because we can often overheat uh, very quickly, which uses a lot of energy to cool. So we were careful to make sure that we could frame this view of Pikes Peak, while at the same time making sure that the house doesn't overheat from the afternoon sun, so we have really deep eaves over the windows and we have it angled quite quite aggressively away from due west so that this is actually uh, the solar heat gain for the um, winter time so most of the heating of the building is going to be coming through this glass here this is the airtight layer of the building so airtightness is kind of a critical compo component of these types of buildings can we put in a two by four onto the interior of the wall. And that's where the electrical boxes go, some of the ventilation system, uh, whatever kind of mechanical systems we need. And then we insulate that, and then we put our drywall to the inside of that. So overall, it's going to be about a 16-inch um, thick wall. 
part of what attracted us to Passive House from the beginning was um, I suffer from a lot of allergies and headaches and um, things that I know are related to my the environment that I'm living in, not just what's going on inside my body. And so it doesn't have to be a grand gesture of super eco amazingness. We were just building a house that functions like a house should, functions easily, just makes sense.